Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hello, everyone. This is Nagus Host Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. In today's video slash showcase, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to convert PlayStation 1 games from .ecm format to either a bin, ISO, or image format so you can play it on your favorite emulators such as RetroArch or if you want to play on, you know, basically Adrenaline for your Vita or PS1 if you want to run a backup and, you know, dump your uh, image or ISO file to a CD, you can do this for, via with this process as well. Um, I ran into this little issue that's why i thought it would be a cool video to make um a lot of emulators can't run .ecm files and they only usually you know run dot bins iso and image um for my case before i was uh, making this video and i decided to make it i was trying to run um ridge racer type 4 the japanese version and it was in a .ecm format and of course if you guys ever modded a playstation 3 you're not able to run that file format the only file format you could run on a modded ps3 is either bin and q or a iso um format that's only the way the playstation 3 could run ps1 games to basically understand that file format so um this tutorial i'm going to be showcasing today will help you know a ton of people out if you guys have ever seen you know a game that's in this .ecm format and you're trying to run it on an emulator or something of that shape or form with that being stated out the way as well if you guys could please be sure to follow my latest social medias so you'll never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel my goal is to try to update my channel every single day in terms of new content so the best way on how to know that is by being subscribed and also hitting that notification button but but of course by following my social media since that's where i usually update y'all guys on when i drop my latest stuff on my channel as well if you do want to join my official discord slash my community you can via join that in the link in the description below or you just type in the url bar or basically the url link into your url bar via web browser so if you're using chrome you can just type that in or just click down on the link in the description below and join that way not only you can meet new people from the hacking and modding scene but you can get you know useful guides and tutorials for your favorite consoles and you can get support for them as well in my discord if you do want to support my channel as well in any shape or form you can feel free to donate via my paypal any of the money that i may receive from my supporters and fans will go straight back into my youtube channel oh excuse me youtube channel it will help me um buy things such as a better microphone um better uh, audio equipment stuff of that nature and it will help me provide the best content for you guys um to see as well some of the prerequisites we're going to get started with today is only two things so of course your ps1 game that's in .ecm format as well you just need one um exe file which is called unecm.exe any of the files i state right now will be in the download description below and um unecm.exe will just take any ecm file and basically unecm it and convert it to its um origin of that file because a lot of uh, .ecm files is backed up by another file so it may say uh, ridge racer 4 for your game and it will have dot bin dot ecm it will just basically unecm the game and then it'll just turn it to a dot bin that's why it works for um dot image games and also iso uh, ps1 titles as well i just want to give a special thanks to all, all my fans and supporters out there and don't forget if you need any help you can feel free to join um the discord for any of the topics you may want to ask me via on my channel but with all that fun stuff getting out the way we can go ahead and get started on today's video Alrighty guys, so assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we could go ahead and get started on the PC side of things for today's tutorial. So as showcased here, our final goal, or basically our goal for this video, is to take any bin.ecm file. So let me go ahead and scroll this over here. As you see here, I have my game of choice and it's in .ecm format. Our goal for today is to take this .ecmm prefix off and basically um, to convert it into either an ISO, a bin, or a .ei, or basically an image file. Now, you may be asking why can't you just, you know, right click, rename, and then, you know, take off this prefix right here and just turn it into a bin. Um, these files are encrypted, so it has to be, you know, decrypted by using an uh, unecm. That's why I'm, I'm doing this video to showcase it, and it's fairly simple on how to do it. So, let's say if you have any PlayStation 1 title as showcased here, and it's in a .bin.ecm format, what we need to do 
is just take your game of choice. I'm going to just drag it on the side of my screen. And as well, I'm going to go to my uh, desktop right here. Let me just put this to the side and we're going to open up ECM tools. I will have ECM tools and a dot zip file, of course, and it'll be in the download description below. But this is how um, the file will look like on your guys' end. You will either have this, you will have either two EXEs in here, it will have the ECM.exe. So if you do want to make a file and to create it as an ECM, so let's say if you this was just a bin and you want to make it into an ECM, all you would have to do is just drag it into this EXE. But all we need to do for today today is to um, take our game of choice which is Ridge Racer 4 or whatever game of your choice and basically drag it to unecm.exe and now what we're doing or basically what it's doing now is decoding the game and now it's converting it into a bin so it will find your game title or basically whatever the game name is and it shows it as a dot bin ecm and now it's decoding the game so it shouldn't take too long PlayStation 1 titles um, are not fairly huge in size but if you notice here right now once the um the command prompt is done doing its process ridge racer 4 now is in bin format and here is the bin.ecm so now you could take um this dot bin file and play it on whatever you know console or whatever game so if you were using a modded playstation 3 you can now um just take the bin queue format and just take your games and transfer it into multi-man and play your ps1 backups like that if you were doing it for playstation or basically for a psp um you could convert these files into .pbp files or if you were doing this for retro arc and stuff like that you could play or if you were doing this on like an emulator for the P pc to play playstation 1 titles you could also play your binic cues like that now let's say if this was a .img file what it would do is just output the same thing so instead of it being a bin whatever the uh first origin of the file forget the .ecmm that's what it will output so pretend if Ridge Racer 4 was a img file it will be just a img once the .ecm prefix is off if it was an iso and it was iso.ecm it would just be an iso but yeah that's basically it for this tutorial for today um this that's basically how easy it is um it doesn't take too long on how to do this and it's a simple thing on how to basically convert your games back and forth um if you guys did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like comment down below if you're having any issues with this program or have any um trouble in terms of you know installing games via on retro arc or something like that for another console feel free to um you know ask any questions down in the link in below but with that being said my name is nagato and i'm signing out thank you guys for watching So he's smooth.